Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we are designing a responsive home page using Figma. And this is our progress as of now. We have designed the desktop and the tablet versions. Now in this video, we will design the mobile version. Now the mobile version will be quite similar to this tablet version. We're just going to make some changes to the padding of these elements and we're going to change these components to the mobile version. And we'll also change this footer to a one column layout. So let's get started. Alright, let's start by creating a frame. So let's click on frame and let's click over here and let's select a template from here. So let's click on frame and I'll just select the iPhone 11 Pro Max and let's change the name to smartphone. Alright, now let's move this to the right side and let's copy this hero section to outside this frame. So let's go into the tablet version and let's select the hero section. And let's click Alt and drag this over here. Right now, let's add these components to our smartphone version. So the first thing we will do is we'll copy this background rectangle. So I'll just double click over here. And here we can see we have this rectangle. So I'll just press Alt and drag this over here. And I'll just adjust the size according to the frame. All right, that's it with the background. Now let's copy this logo. So I'll just double click over here. And let's duplicate this over here. Now for the mobile version, we won't be having these menu items displayed over here. We will have a menu icon and when we click on the menu icon, we will display these menu items in a pop-up. So for that, let's add a menu icon over here. So I'll just right click over here and go to plugins and let's select hero icons. And let's search for menu. And I'll just select this one right here. And let's drag this and bring it inside our frame. And we'll also decrease the size of this logo. So let's click on this logo and we'll set the size to 36 pixels. And let's change the color of this menu icon to the dark color that we have in our website. And let's increase the size of this menu icon. So for that, I'm going to select this tool over here called scale. And now let's increase the scale. And I think this looks all right. So that's it with our menu icon. Now let's select this and we will have a spacing of 32 pixels on the right side. So let's press Alt and now we have a spacing of 57 pixels. So let's bring this to the right. And that looks all right. Let's also bring this logo to the left and we will have 32 pixels of padding. All right now let's select both of this and let's align them to the center. So I'll just click on this button called Align Vertical Centers. And let's group this. So I'll just press Ctrl G and we'll name this group menu bar and we'll have a spacing of 60 pixels from the top. So I'll just bring this up one pixel. All right, now the next thing we will do is we'll copy these three elements. So I'll just select all of these and let's press Alt and bring this over here. And we'll also decrease the width of these elements. So I'll just select this text over here and we will have a spacing of 32 pixels from the left and the right. And we'll also decrease the size of this font. So let's select this and uh, right now we have a size of 50 pixels. Let's decrease this and let's set it to, I think 36 pixels and that looks all right. All right now let's decrease the size of this paragraph over here. And uh, we will have a spacing of 32 pixels. And let's bring this to the top a little bit and uh, I think that looks all right. And now let's select this button and uh, we have already set the platform to mobile in the tablet version. And now we need to add this image over here as well. So let's double click over here and let's press Alt and bring it over here. And we need to decrease the size of this image. So I'll just press Shift and drag this over here. I think this looks all right. Let's bring these elements to the top. And I think that looks alright. We can just decrease the size of this image a little bit. Now let's add these two elements over here. So let's double click. And let's also select this. And let's press Alt and bring this over here. And here we'll just change the size of these elements. So for the students enrolled, I'll just change the font size to 14 pixels. And for 32K, I'll just set it to 30 pixels. And let's also decrease the size of this rectangle. 
and we'll do the same for this one as well right now let's select this and let's copy this down over here and I'll just change this to overall rating and let's change this to 4.7 and let's bring this star let's copy this and bring this over here let's decrease the size a little bit and let's select both of this and bring this to the left and I think that looks alright now let's delete this element from here we can decrease the width of these elements a little bit alright that's it with these two elements and I think we can move this image to the right a little bit and uh, let's move these elements over here to the bottom and uh, I think that looks alright alright that's it with the hero section of our mobile version so let's select all of these elements inside the smartphone and let's group this so I'll just press ctrl G and uh, let's name this hero section alright now we can delete this hero section from here Right now let's go ahead and increase the height of this frame so I'll just select this frame and let's increase the height right now let's copy and paste the second element so let's copy this testimonial section now let's go ahead and select this heading and we have to change the platform to mobile and uh, let's move this up a little bit and we also have to change the platform of this testimonial component to mobile so let's select this and let's select mobile and I'll do the same for this one as well right now let's copy these to our smartphone frame so let's decrease the width a little bit and let's decrease the width of this as well and also of these two components and let's also bring this button to the left right now let's copy all of this and uh, let's drag it inside this frame and let's set a top padding of 100 pixels so right now we have a gap of 96 pixels from the top so I'll just move this down 4 pixels and on the sides we need to have 32 pixels so here we have 32 pixels let's go ahead and change the width of these elements so now we have 32 pixels for this element let's do the same for this text layer and let's bring these elements to the bottom a little bit and let's decrease the width of these testimonial cards and even of this one right here and let's bring this button to the left and we can also decrease the height of this rectangle over here and we'll just bring it to the left a little bit and that looks alright all right, so now let's select all of this and uh, it is already a group so let's keep it as it is now let's go ahead and copy the next section which is this our courses section so let's copy this over here and let's change the heading to mobile and let's change these elements course cards to mobile we'll do the same for this element as well I'll just select mobile from here in the platform and let's decrease the size of these course cards let's decrease the size of this background Right now let's select all of this and uh, let's bring it inside the smartphone frame alright let's bring this to the left and we'll also decrease the width of this background rectangle alright now let's have a spacing of 60 pixels from the top for this heading and we'll also have a spacing of 32 pixels from the left and the right alright now let's select this course card and let's bring it to the left and we will have a spacing of 0 from the left and the right so I'll just bring this over here and we will do the same for this course card as well so let's bring it to the left and let's decrease the width and we also had a button let's see where's the button so it's over here let's bring it to the left and let's position this over here we will have a spacing of 32 pixels on the right but that looks all right all right now let's decrease the height of this rectangle all right now let's select this group and we will have a spacing of 100 pixels from the previous section so let's move this up 
All right, that's it with the course section. Now let's go ahead and copy this section right here for get our app. And for this, we'll position these two elements one below the other. So let's position this over here. And uh, let's bring this to the center. And uh, let's select this heading. And let's change this to mobile. Let's decrease the width of this heading right here. All right, now let's copy all of this and uh, bring it over here. And we will have a spacing of 100 pixels from the top. All right, now let's select this and bring it to the center. So let's click on Align Horizontal Centers. And also we will have a spacing of 32 pixels from the left and the right for this paragraph. All right, now let's bring this uh, paragraph up a little bit. And uh, let's select both of this and uh, we'll bring this to the center. And I think we can decrease the height of these elements over here. So let's double click over here and uh, let's reduce uh, the height a little bit. So we'll set the padding to 16 pixels from the top and bottom or let's set it to 12 pixels and we'll do the same for this one right here. Let's select this and let's type 12 for top and bottom and let's bring this to the top a little bit and that looks all right. And that's it with the our app section. Now let's go ahead and copy this footer. So let's copy this over here. Now for the footer, we need to have all these elements one below the other. So we'll have a one column layout. So I'll just select this uh, background and let's increase the height a little bit. And let's position these one below the other. So I'll just select both of these and bring them to the bottom. And let's select the other one and let's bring it to the middle. And we'll also decrease the width of this input field. So let's double click over here. And let's decrease the width of this input field. And what I will do is I'll just bring this button to the bottom. So let's bring this to the bottom a little bit. And let's select this button. And let's bring this to the bottom over here. Right now let's decrease the width of this background. And let's copy all of this and let's bring it inside the smartphone frame. And let's decrease the width of this background. And we're going to have a spacing of 100 pixels from the top. Right now let's scroll down and let's bring this to the left and also this paragraph. Right now let's bring all of this to the center. So let's click on this group over here. And now if I click on align horizontal centers, we can see that the whole group is centered, but all the individual elements are not centered. So let's ungroup this first. So I'll just right click over here and click on ungroup. And uh, now let's select all of this and let's click on align horizontal centers. And now we can see everything is centered correctly. So let's do the same for all the other elements. We'll also check whether we have the correct padding at the top. So we have a padding of 85 pixels. Let's select all of this and let's group it once again. And we will have a spacing of 60 pixels. So let's bring this up a little bit. All right now let's select this and let's ungroup this. And let's click on align horizontal centers. And now let's group this and now let's click on align horizontal centers and now we can see it is in the center and we'll also bring this up a little bit so we will have a spacing of 40 pixels i think that looks all right right now let's go ahead and bring this section over here to the top and uh, let's bring it to the center let's click on align horizontal centers and uh, let's ungroup this and now let's select both of this and uh, let's click on align horizontal centers and let's group this and let's bring it to the center. And we'll also bring both of these icons to the center. So let's double click over here and let's group it first. So I'll just press control G and let's align horizontal centers. And uh, we'll just increase the width of this input field. So we will have a spacing of 32 pixels and the same for the right. You can just press control and press the left and the right arrows to increase the width. And let's bring this placeholder to the left. And uh, I'll just increase uh, the height of this button. And let's group this button. And let's click on Align Horizontal Centers. And uh, let's also bring this paragraph to the top. And uh, let's set a spacing of 32 pixels from the left and the right. And uh, I think we can decrease the size a little bit. So let's set it to 14 pixels. And uh, let's set it to 
text align center and that looks alright. So that's it with the footer of our mobile version. Now let's decrease the height of this rectangle and we will have a spacing of 70 pixels. So let's press control and up arrow. Right now we have 70 pixels. So that's it with the footer. Right now let's select this and we have a spacing of 100 pixels from the previous section. Right now let's decrease the height of this frame. So let's select this frame. So I'll just press control and click over here. And let's decrease the height of this frame. Alright, that's it with the mobile version of our website. Now in the next video, I'll show you how to add the animation for the navigation menu. So we'll create a pop-up navigation menu and when we click on this button, we need to display the navigation menu over here. So we'll do that in the next video. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.